Would have been a bummer. I wonder if you do new game if it just totally gets rid of your old game. All right. So last we f last we left you on Cat Quest, we had learned how to fly. Woo! See, we're flying. And we had been helping somebody, I think here, do some little side quests. We, we were going around like cleaning up all the side quests so that we could level up and move through the story because we're level 48 now. But but we saw recently there there are level 200 caves and dungeons to go into. We've got a lot of leveling to do, people. And some of the fun places that we want to go still have like skulls next to the enemies' things. They're little skulls that tell you this is too hard. No, I don't like to brag or anything, but I have defeated some of those skull people. Uh, but some of them are really, really hard, like the troll, the jello vikings that we want to fight. Those are pretty fun. So let's see what we got here. Level 15. <laughs> the whisperer. The whisperer. Yeah, we'll put the main quest on hold. I think I know what was released and where it is. Uh, I don't even remember what we're doing, so let's talk to this guy. It talked to me and mentioned a name. Drakoth, it said. Ooh, Drakoth. He's the, he's the, like, warlock guy who stole my sister. And that's who we're trying to rescue is my sister. But Drakoth claims that because I'm the dragon blood, I need to be... He, he claims that he, he kidnapped my sister for, I guess, good reasons. Uh, <laughs> so that uh, I could prove myself by killing dragons and he'll give my sister back. Once I've proved that I'm a powerful dragon blood who can save the world, I don't know. Anyway, talk to me and mention a name. Drakoth, it said. He's waiting for you over at Puss Plains. Of course. Here's our good friend Spurry, the uh, the cat spirit. You know, he says, Come on, partner. Let's go finish this. All right, let's do it then. Let's fly there because we can fly now. Oh, you know what we said we were going to do? We'll do it after we fly over here and take care of this business. But we're going to do um, an all-magic kind of thing this time. We're going to switch some armor around and do, like, a magic build. So we're using lots of spells and stuff. There it is! This spirit feels like a dragon, though. Growl! You... Uh, will you be the one to end my suffering? Meow, what what are you uh. Oh, I got nailed. Really shouldn't try very hard. This guy's pretty weak. It's there! Okay, what? Huh? He's disappearing! Dragoth tra oh Dragoth trapped me here! I was too weak to be useful! Oh, thank you, you I can rest in peace now. Oh. Nice. Ooh, we got the skull helmet. Level one skull helmet. Dracoth, huh? Hey, you guys, I'm over here. Uh, who? Oh. I was so worried. I'm furry happy things turned out fine. It was trapped. It was a trapped dragon spirit. You have an affinity to dragons, you know? A dragon whisper. A meowsing. Yeah, uh, I'd rather not. Here's some gold for all the trouble. Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Boom. Alright, so where's this taking us? It's, it's taking us down there. We still have more quests at the capital we can pick up. Oh, did we see another one there by uh, Kit Kats? Let's see about this, what we were just talking about. Let's see about switching some things around. So we're wearing the chainmail helmet. We're gonna go all magic all the time. We got this uh, mage hood for 16 magic. Oh, that's 10 magic. Furry tank helmet, no, no, no. What about magic helmets, come on. Two only on that one. 29 magic on this, but it'll reduce my health by quite a, li a lot. Let's, um, but let's do it. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to go, we're just going to go like balls to the wall, mage style, right? We're just going to say, hey, I'm maging it all the way, maging it. All right. Uh, 
We'll see how it works. Okay, Mage Vest is nine. Magic. Uh, we could get the Squire Armor, though, for 24 with some armor. So, of course, we'll do that. Put, oh, I, I think I guess I already had that on. There we go. Now we need an, a staff or a weapon of some sort. We could go the Arcane Staff. will get us 43. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's an amazing... Our dark Horn looks ridiculous. Uh, we could get 38 with the Mage Staff. 43 with the Arcane Staff, but 38 with the Mage Staff. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Mage Staff, and here's my thought there. I want to still be able to hit stuff, right? So if I go here, then I have an attack of... One. Well, you know what? I said we're going to go all balls to the wall, all Mage all the way, right? So let's do it. Let's go all Mage all the way. And only spells. Let's see how long it takes us to kill one of these things with just our stick. Nice. These are like level nothing weasels, but I just blasted them with this, so. That's amazing. Okay. I wonder how healy I can be. Oh, man, man, man. Nice. Okay. Level 20, the Blacksmith Master. It's Kit Kat. All right, let's get the oars to Kit. Y'all came back? I have a good feeling about this, yeah. You give Kit the special oars. We had some special oars we picked up for her, finally, after trying to get a bunch of stuff for her and it being run off by bandits. We finally got some stuff to her. Perfect, uh, give me one second to whip this armor into shape, though. Hmm. There we go. It's done! Wow! That was literally one second! <laughs> and you know what? I'm giving this armor to y'all as thanks for everything. Oh wow, level five kit's armor. Nice! It's a pretty well-rounded armor. Y'all are always welcome here, you hear? Now, get on out of here. Shoo, I got some hammering to do. <laughs> oh, Kit Kat. You send Spurry's heart a flutter. Spurry, our spirit companion, is in love with Kit Kat. She, he has a crush on her. Um, but I have no such crush because I have a cold, unfeeling heart. So, I do not fall for the... I do not fall victim to the passions of love. Whoa, look at all these quests that just popped up that I can do. Level 25, the missing soldiers. Let's see. Soldiers have gone missing. Help me find my soldiers. <laughs> we can't get, we can't let the king go short pod. Well, let's go talk to the king. We recently uh, rescued the king from some sort of a curse. So I guess that's why these popped up. Your furriness, what happened? Uh, what's up? <laughs> I love the king. Young Dragonblood, my soldiers are missing. With your strength, I believe you can find them. Faux show. What is it? Who is this guy? Meow, wow, we're happy to help. Rarsome. I've marked out where they were last seen. Break up, paw. This guy's weird. All right, we're going to try to rescue these guys. We got lots of magic on hand. Boom. Boom. Just practicing. <laughs> hmm, nothing here. Nothing here either. How are we? Wait a minute. Over there, a piece of paper. Report number one. I need to find my fellow soldiers. I'm following a suspicious town cat. A clue. I see one there. Report number two. The town cat keeps looking around. Does he see me? Number three. He looks familiar. Maybe I've seen him around somewhere. Report number four. He is joined by another cat. They're heading off together. Report number five. They've stopped. It looks like they meet here a lot. 
Oh, four, number six. They're saying something. I need to get closer. There. It ended abruptly. Something must have happened. Yeah, don't you get? Don't you like that about notes that end abruptly? Uh, somehow, the people who write them always have time, even though they were abruptly ended. They always have time to put to put a dash in there so that future readers will know. Uh oh. Look, they're over there. I see them. Wait a whiskering second. I hear something over there. Suspicious town cats and the soldiers. They're having another meeting here? Hmm, I've checked. No, it's someone else. I've checked. There's no more of those pesky soldiers. Huh, good. The herb bait's been set. Let's go before the monsters come. Uh-oh. Bait? What does he mean by... Oh, fuzzballs, monsters! All right, we got this. We got this, guys. Yeah, boy. We need to hit these guys, get some magic back. Yeah, let's do this. Get rid of those herbs first. Okay, let's get rid of the herbs. Quick, before more monsters come. You picked up Pawthorn and Catnip. Eesh! These herbs attract monsters. Toss them! You untie the bound soldiers. Soldier kitties, what happened? <laughs> uh, meow! Those town cats knocked us out and left us for those monsters. Curse our crappy armor! <laughs> meow, you got kitties. You kitties need an upgrade. Do you know who they were? No, but they mentioned South Point. Two of our soldiers are still missing. They could be there now. We'll inform his furry highness first. Please have this. Oh, I see. You give me your crappy armor, huh? <laughs> Spree says, they gave us this, but I think they need it way more than us. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth. All right, let's head back to town. They did say South Point. Where is South Point? I don't know. You know, it's hard to read this map a little bit. Let's see. I mean, there's a South Watch. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure We'll go back to the capital and see what's up. There's another bulletin board over there. The Rescue. We need a plan. We need to plan a rescue ASAP. All right, King. <sighs> so is my, but my, but my cats aren't strong enough to reach South Point. We need your help. Don't worry, your furriness. We'll help find your soldier kitties. Let's do it. We're off. Fly away. We can just fly over this whole big thing. <laughs> There's some money. Good. I'm standing here. Meowza, we made it. Now, where are those soldiers? No, oh, wait, over there. You untie the soldiers. Thank you. They're all gathered at the edge of South Point. You have to see it for yourself. We can sneak back on our own. Okay. Wait a minute, I hear mewing. King Leonardo's reign is over. We'll take him down. We've stuffed, we've suffered through our time in the soldier guard. We'll wear this crappy armor as we strike them down to show our rebellion. Uh, meow, they're soldiers? Traitors? Who's there? Come out! I'm here. D -d -d Dragon blood? Wait, I I've seen you before. You were in the soldier guard before, a few years back. You'll understand, right? Lousy armor, low pay, high risk. Soldiers are voluntary and should be loyal to the king. Prepare to fight. Don't be afraid. Remember your training. Beat him down. Whoa. Holy fuzzballs, that's some really crappy armor. Let's get back and tell his furriness. Man. 
Talk about crappy armor, huh? Level 85 dungeon. We're not going in there. We're gonna fly, though. Whee! We used to play this game when I was in school. Where we, play, where we would sing the songs on the radio while we were driving in cars, but we would replace all the lyrics with meow. So we'd just meow all the songs. Like, like, uh... I can't, for sudden, suddenly I can't think of any songs. Somebody give me a song in the chat and I'll meow it. How about that? Young dragon blood, the soldiers told me of the traitors. What a bummer. <laughs> what a bummer, man. You needn't worry about them anymore, your furriness. Cool paws. You've saved my life yet again, young dragon blood. You're rarsome. Please accept this. I got the royal crown? That sounds, uh... That sounds like you over-gifted a little bit. Shouldn't you be using the royal crown? <laughs> Ooh, dragon worshippers. There's something baiting wyverns here with catnip. We need to find this vandal. Why in the whiskers would anyone do that? Young dragon blood. We have to find this catnip vandal. The catnip attracts these wyverns. Wyverns are so not cool. We'll check around for catnip to see if it can give us any clues, your furriness. Roar some sauce, break a paw. Is this like a? Is this Lion King, King Lionardo? He's like a. Is he like a bro, bro king? <laughs> He's broken. <laughs> he was broken before, but we fixed him. Uh. All right, let's look out for catnip from here. Hmm. Hmm. Over there. You crush the half-eaten catnip. Hmm. Looks like a wyvern got to it. We better watch out for them too. Okay. Uh. Oh. Is that a wyvern up there? That's not a wyvern, is it? Yeah! Gotcha. Yeah, the tough thing about a... Uh... Ooh. So the tough thing about this uh, going back with um, all magic stuff is the managing your mana. You have to attack things to get mana back. That makes things challenging. Ooh, more catnip. This trail of wyverns and catnips bringing us somewhere. It should lead to the vandal. Yeah, okay. So those are wyverns. I always thought they were just mini dragons. Ah, more wyverns, I guess they are. Ha ha, ha ha, hoo ha, yeah. Let's head this way. I think I saw something suspicious nearby. Hello, you must be here for the initiation. Initiation? What the furry gods? Take this. It might refresh your memory. Join the dragon worshippers initiation. For the love of dragons, open to all. Come along now. Uh, what? What in furry whiskers are you crazy kitties doing? You know those are dangerous wyverns, right? It's fine, Mew. They know we love them. We gave them all the catnip. For God cat's sake, are you dumb? Wait, don't answer that. <laughs> don't furry worry. I have a magic barrier around them, Mew, okay? <laughs> Mew, okay? 
uh, it'll go down, it'll, and it'll only go down if I lose concentration. Mm, you okay? <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Meow, 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 chew. Uh oh. Oh, meow. Run! I thought they won't hurt us. Meow! Uh, just run, you fool. This ain't worth it. Furballs! We're always left with the cleanup duty. Yeah, no kidding, dummy. Oh gosh, this is outrageous. Outrageous! Yikes! God cats. That should teach them not to mess around with wyverns. Let's head back. I don't think I like this all uh, all magic approach. It seems, um, I mean, the individual attacks are pretty strong, but I need, I need some more, I need some more fighting power. Hmm, flying. Back to the casp capital. Here we go. It's bro, it's bro king. The vandals won't bother you anymore, your furriness. <laughs> Perfect job, young dragon blood. I owe you big time. Meow, shucks. A roar might help, though. <laughs> right on. Please accept this. So he gave us the royal crown, and now we've got the royal robes. And we're level 50. Brilliant. All right, let's see what we got going on on the board. Level 60 is heirloom armor. Um, I don't think we're strong enough for that, so we're not gonna mess with that. Let's see. Um, okay, over there on the island off to the east is a quest we could check out. So let's fly over there. Whee! It's a level 45 quest. The Offerings. With our great altar done, we now need offerings for our mighty moth. Written by Scratches. What's this about offerings for moth? I think I heard a whisper from him, but I'm missing offerings to pray with. We need the best, though sea serpents should be enough. Uh, you're lucky we can water walk, you know. <laughs> What a weird thing to say to people, Spurry. All right, here we go. Sea serpents. You know, I don't actually remember much of my past. Oh, are we gonna have a heart-to-heart, -heart, Spurry? Do you think I might have known a god cat or two? What? Oh, I see a serpent. Whoa! Nice, we'll need more. Let's go further out. Okay, I need, I have to switch to different armor. Okay, we want to hit hard, all right? So let's maybe at least change our weapon to something that hits harder. There's a good attack on this chainmail blade of 14 with 14 armor. 17 on this with 17 health, the flame thing. Um, we could go with a mixture of a dark horn with a mixture of magic and, and attack. 14 and 14. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's not try to go full. Getting rid of the magic. I, I want just a little bit more attack power. You know. So, what did I have before? Let's see what the difference is. 
All right, all right, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. There we go. It's a badass looking sword anyway. Ooh, let's read this. A monument, look! This island used to be the seat of the old master's empire, but now only ruins and tombs are left as a memory of what they once were. I wonder if there are more of these. Yeah, I know. You're always wondering that. Level 45 little temple here. Why don't we check it out? You know what I always say. Check it out. <laughs> Boom. Bada boom. Blowed up. Let's get them all. Blow them up. Got more ninja robes. See, if I want to go like all super attack, then I go with the ninja robes. Okay, see, I mean, I'm hitting things and actually doing some damage, so that makes me feel good. I like this dark horn sword with this magic get up. It's feeling pretty good. Another sword over here, another knight sword. It's got some pretty strong attack on it. Hey, pal, cool your jets. That's right, I'm big now. Gotcha. It's just the, uh, it's the management of the mana that annoys me. That's what it is, really. <laughs> oh, I better not get killed by a sheep weasel, that's for sure. That would be embarrassing. Very embarrassing. All right, come on back over here, buddy. Ah! This away, dude. Gotcha. Still no keys. I'm really starting to get annoyed that that I don't know. It looks like you'll need a key to unlock the chest. Yeah. Uh, duh. <laughs> duh. All right. Maybe it's just that I really... Oh, jeez. Stuck in a corner with that wizard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Okay. Chi. She. Shy. Show. Dragon's Rush. But it looks like I've already been in there. You know. Sea Serpent! Goodness. All right, we got to have like a I think I can switch that that gigantic spell out because I'm not using a lot of physical stuff right now. So let's switch that out. Um I want to experiment with this life stealing one. Too. You only get to hold four spells is the fun fun part. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's head back in here. Ha! Ah. Oh what? Mm. 
Nice. If you're gonna punch it, then punch it, man. Gotcha. This life stealing one isn't so bad. I can deal with that. Sucking the life of my enemies. Yeah, I mean, that, that got me like up to full health, I think, right here. So I can live with that. Wizard's dead. The Wicked Witch is dead. This thing does a. D I should pay attention to what the damage numbers are that actually pop out so I can compare them to each other. I'm really bad at that sort of thing, like on the fly. Ooh, that got. That hit me really hard. Oh! There we go. Dead again, because, you know, why would I do well? Why would I succeed? Nobody knows. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's listen to Spurry and do this guy again. Oh, I see a serpent. Man, if I just keep smacking them with this life-stealing thing, maybe that'll do the job. Keep me up. Okay, it's not helping quite as much as I was hoping. <laughs> Whew. Nice. Okay, leveled up. That helped. Whoa. That's a scary looking monster. He looks kind of like that... That... That sailor... Cat. Maybe they're related. Here you fishy go. Now, oh, meowsing. I have a furry good feeling about this. I'll let you know if I succeed. Take this as payment. Man, this is lots of cool armor. Yeah, I'm not digging the the magic thing. So let's let's get some better armor. So we've got the knight's armor is just like whoa, tons of armor. Um what about attack type armor? There's the furry tank armor. Um, it's hard to pick things like this, you know? I think for a while I was wearing the chainmail armor. I had the squire armor on. It gave me magic, you know? It was a nice good chunk of magic. Maybe I'll keep the squire armor. Switch to a different hat, though. So I'm wearing this terrible hat that just gives me lots of magic. What if I... Put the, uh, whoa, this guy would hit hard. Um, maybe something with some attack, attack on it. Like the royal crown I could wear. I could wear the knight helmet. Hmm. I mean, we got, we got to consider the level too, right? The level of the hat. It's a 21 chainmail helm. I'll go with the chainmail helm. Good old chainmail helm. Yeah, 
and the knight armor, man. That is some beefy armor. It's hard to it's hard to resist doing that. It would give me a lot more armor. Mm. But I would lose a lot of magic power. I'm gonna stay with the squire stuff. Knight sword is good. It's pretty pretty good attack there. I think the knight sword's my best bet. I think this will make us fairly well-rounded, knowing um, nothing about what actually does a good job making you well-rounded. Um, I feel confident saying that. The next one, level 50 quest. This will this will put it to the test. We're level 51, so this will really put it to the test. The prayer. Calling all believers of moth. The time draws nigh. It's almost time to summon Moth. Will you join us, cat venturers? Are you both believers? Uh, maybe a little? What about you, partner? Uh, oh no, that won't do it all. Moth deserves only the strongest of faith. Here, go to these monuments and learn the teachings of Moth. Okay. Yeah, I never noticed this, but there's more inscriptions below. Moth was the first cat to speak and changed everything for cats. It was a miracle. I know this. The cats in the past were feral. They couldn't talk and could only meow. <laughs> Moth taught the other cats how to speak, and they grew more intelligent. This moth really is meowsing. A meowsing, oh. Uh, meowsing. Moth had many friends, but his intelligence brought him as many enemies. Hmm, I vaguely remember that in my past. Cats were jealous of me, too. Poor Moth. You know what's gonna happen. Spurry, my crazy adventurer who hates peasants and wants to kill everything and everyone, is gonna turn out to be Moth. Because during this little side quest, he's been talking about how he doesn't remember his past. I see what you're doing here. Moth was slain out of jealousy. He was then hailed as the God Cat of Knowledge. What? That's furrable! I don't know why, but I'm feeling very sad now. <laughs> Let's just head back. Okay, whatever you say. So, are you believers now, my furry friends? <sighs> yes, I could feel Moth's spirit talking to me. It's almost like I was there. And what of the dragon blood? Do you believe now? Uh... <laughs> Perfect! Welcome to the faith, my fellow Mothians. We will begin the summoning soon. Do join us when it happens. Oh, and here's a welcoming gift. It's bath soaps. <laughs> white mage robes though the mage robes are not bad maybe if I want to go a little more magic -y because they have some health you lose some attack power which I know I complained about but they have some health it's my daughter Zoe here to join me she loves watching me play cat quest here hey do you mind cl close the office door so that mom doesn't get annoyed by me yelling as loud as I'm yelling <laughs> because I get so excited Playing Cat Quest. All right, level fifty-two. We are leveling up like a champion today. Are there? Oh, there's more. There's more. Uh oh, it's the God Cat Moth. We might have to come back for this. That's level fifty-five. And well, that's exciting. Oh, I really want to see if I'm right to see if if my friend Spurry is Moth, the God Cat. So let's try it. It's a little bit higher level, but let's try it. Fellow Mothians, let us congregate near the straits. We shall summon Moth. No scratches. Somehow I think this might actually work. <laughs> Somehow, huh? 
I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Spurry is Moth, the god cat. All right, finally, I've prepared everything. It's time for the summoning. Meow, how are we gonna do this? Follow me. All right. Don't worry, we're all fellow Mothians here. Meow, wait, what's gonna happen to us? Nothing, it's just a requirement to find Moth. Trust me, I don't want to hurt anyone either. Please stand in that circle over there. We'll hold you to that. You know what my partner's capable of, right? Oh boy, here we go. Something's happening. I am Apeth, Slayer of Moth. Who dares summon me? My god, cats! Th that's not Moth! And why can't we get out of this circle? Moth! Is that you? How can this be? Moth! It is you! My, how pathetic you've become! And quite cute, too. Uh, you talking to me, mister? Sorry, but you've obviously got the wrong cat. But I'll admit my memory's a little bit rusty. Conveniently, for this storyline, I can't remember that I must be Moth. I added a little bit of extra dialogue there. <laughs> I'll never forget that expression you wore as I ended you, Moth. So you were the one who killed me? I, I mean, Moth? Looks like I'll just have to end you permanently. Here we go. Time to take care of business. Yeah, boy. See what you got, son. Whoops. Oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Down. Ooh. We're about to die, guys. Now we gotta build. Ooh, ooh. We gotta build some of this up. Up this way. Run. Oh, we got killed by the moth killer. All right, all right, all right. We'll try that again. Fellow Mothians, blah, 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 blah. Somehow I think blah. They don't make these fights easy. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Blah, 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 blah. Get in your hole. Get in your, get in your circle. We get it, we get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of talk. Yada, yada, yada. Dramatic stuff. I don't remember. Didn't really remember that I was moth. Okay, okay, we're getting to that point. Man. Oh, God, cats. This is not the end, Moth. Okay. 
Thank the God Cats, you're all muke, uh, me okay. Go home, all of you. By the God Cats, are you truly our savior, Moth? Heck no, I'm Spurry, a guardian spirit. Uh, I mean, I think. Huh, I guess the summoning was a failure then. But Moth is clearly real. That evil spirit is proof of that. I guess. Truth, I shall continue to spread the word of Moth then. Thank you. Man, the furry tank helm just got really beefy. Hey, do you think that evil... Do you think what that evil spirit said was true? Am I really moth? Nah, can't be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, alright. You know what I want to see is how that helm stacks up against my current helm. Level 21 chainmail helm, 21 armor, 22 health. And then this is a level 30. Hmm. It'll give me a, a lot more armor. So it'll give me a lot more attack at the expense of some health. I think I can live with that. Whoa, and it's really cool looking. It's pretty big. There's tank armor too, you know. Put on this tank armor. Now, what that tank armor does is... What was I wearing? Squire armor. It takes away some of my magic. My magic. So I'm going to keep the squire armor, even though it's really lo much lower level. I wish there was a way to organize all this stuff by level or something. Sort? Oh, there we go. I mean, how did that sort it? What did it sort it by? I don't even know what it sorted it by. Yeah, who cares? Let's see. Let's fly around. Does my armor... Maybe my magic needs an upgrade. So we've got all these things. I've got all of these spells. It's just I could improve them, you know? I feel like this one right here with the health boost. Maybe I'll pay some gold to make it a little bit stronger. See if if that makes it more worth it. Now it steals life in the shape of an axe, does 193 damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Right? Right? It does a lot of... It uses a lot of magic points is the thing. I use this one a lot, so maybe we should boost that one, too. The freeze spell! Freezy jeezy! It slows him down... And it still only does two magic points, so I thought maybe in increasing its effectiveness would uh, increase the amount of magic points that it uses, so it looks like it doesn't. So let's boost all my other spells, too. Why not, is what I say. If I'm not going to be using these spells all the damn time with 100% magic stuff, then I might as well make them super effective. So this only gives me 25 health, right? And my what is my health? I have 873 health. What if I upgrade this? How much health will it... How much health will it give me if I upgrade it? Come on, guys. Let's see. 40 health. I mean, come on, really? It's like really terrible. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll upgrade this thing and try to play with it a little bit more. 
I'm spending like all the gold, man. Spending the gold. Ah, uh, and he's off. 